back to Silver Octagon Technologies and in this video I'm going to be going over some major details and updates of SD1 and some of my plans and some wire management so stay tuned for that. I got these uh, wire sleeves that are uh, an inch uh, thick and they expand so it's perfect for all the uh, power wires and ground wires to fit and honestly it looks incredible um, so this video is essentially centralized around wire management and a small uh, update but I also want to go over a couple of things when it comes to SD1's uh, design development. So I am in the process of redesigning the shoulders um, and the power bank uh, as well as the uh, electronics housing in the center. So I have a lot of plans for SD1 
uh, in development because I plan to make it into a product. So essentially it would be a semi-open source robot that people who own 3D printers can um, you know, download the STL files and print the parts themselves or buy this robot in kit form. Uh, I'm aiming towards students, uh, young people, or anybody for that matter who, who is uh, interested in robotics um, and wants to learn. And so my goal for this robot is to make it very user friendly. So I'm definitely in the process of doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Cody Graham. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, to stay tuned for any new updates or videos on SD1 or any of my other projects. And don't forget to leave this video a like. And I will see you guys next time.